to perform a hypothesis testing or um, or uh, any research design um, we want to answer some uh, questions um, um, some scientific question um, for example we want to figure out whether it's gonna rain today or not um, so uh, this is the chance of rain this is the weather.com data I'm um, using to explain the basic uh, steps uh, steps involved in the design of experiments so to perform any um, research or uh, any uh, hypothesis testing you must have some kind of research question um, our research question today is um, is it gonna rain today or not so um, let me write down the scale of blank page get a pen so in step number one in any research is um, making a research question or educated guess which we uh, call uh, hypothesis in statistics so there are two types of hypothesis one is called null hypothesis which is expressed using H0 and then alternative hypothesis which is expressed uh, using HA null hypothesis in this case we are testing rain today so um, it is because you see that null or zero or nothing or equal null hypothesis always follow equal sign so today is equal to rain so that is our null hypothesis alternative would be anything that is not mentioned in the null hypothesis so not equal to rain so our step number one in design of experiment or in research design or any kind of research or statistical hypothesis testing is done step number two is finding a appropriate method a suitable method for our uh, to answer our research question uh, method in this case uh, it is the weather uh, model uh, we don't know exactly what that model is but that's okay uh, for this example and after doing all this um, um, analysis using that model they came up with the probability value or p-value uh, if you don't know what is that check the uh, earlier video on p-value so they found 15 percent uh, one of the data were uh, 0 0.0.15 um, and then in step number two is the step number three is the result of our research the way we write it in statistics there is a certain way of writing statistical results and I don't want you to be creative just copy this language so we because there is a higher probability so we're gonna accept that null hypothesis there is about 15 percent probability of this null hypothesis to happen so we accept the null hypothesis because the p-value is larger there is a higher probability 1.5 p-value is larger than the level of significance uh, which is typically 0.5 percent if it is not mentioned so our cut-up value is 0.05 or 5 percent 
Uh, so we we say the probability is too low if it's less than 0.5 percent, uh, and then this null hypothesis will not happen. In this case, the pro we found that the running that model, we found the probability is 15 percent. So uh, we accept that fact, the null hypothesis that that will happen, um, and then the last step is the conclusion is step number uh, four i would like to call contextual conclusion uh, what does it uh, mean uh, in the context of the problem contextual conclusion so we're going to write in a way so anybody understand without uh, going into all the statistical jargon. So we simply say statistically the word we only include the word is statistics so people know that we have done some statistical analysis on that. Um, so statistically statistically um, there is a significant chance of rain today. Oops. Chance of rain today. So you make an hypothesis and then um, both null hypothesis and alternative. Null is always equal sign, follows, always follow. Uh, an equal sign and then alternative is other than null and then you pick a method uh, typically um, um, there are suitable methods for um, uh, some particular experiments and this is what we are going to learn for this entire course that um, when to use what kind of method and the appropriateness of some uh, method over other methods. Now step number three result uh, is simply you see the p-value if it's, if it's large then we say yeah it's gonna happen if it's low we'll say it will not happen and the contextual conclusion is we have to write it in a way so people without any statistical background will understand um, that so statistically there is a significant chance of rain today uh, which will be understandable to um, many um, eight grader now you basically rewrite the accepted null hypothesis in the contextual conclusion so that is the four steps the, of the hypothesis testing or research design or any research study